So what's the best way to set up your metro systems in your city? Well, we're going to take a look at that today. For my opinion, what I think is the best way to set up your metro. This city was sent in by Hermes Moon. He says that the traffic gets as low as 20% sometimes in his city if you just let it run. And also he said, please take a look at my metro. Don't use any special roads. Just keep it to vanilla roads. So we've got no network extension too, which gives you all the lovely extra highways and things that we like to use so we've got none of that but he said you can use the traffic manager mod so that is what we're going to do if you would like to get your city uh, looked at and fixed check the pin post below i also have a video on my channel that tells you all the mods i use particularly when i'm fixing cities so go and search that one up it's called top 10 mods and you can find it for yourself so let's just take a quick look at this city the size is 53,000 plus nearly 54,000 not actually too bad it's it's quite a smallish sort of city you've got some highways here you've got a chocker block roundabout here which we'll take a look at what is going on here let's actually take a look at this before we even start so people are coming on they're going round they're trying to get around here so it's good that you've got a roundabout <laughs> i want to call that a roundabout it's like a really weird shape so you've got the give way and priority these two junctions are pretty close. So what I would just do to start, let's just get rid of that. And we are going to just curve that round to there. Just to give a little bit of space between those junctions. So we'll do that first. And then we'll just put back in what you want on here, which is that giveaway. And then also what you want to do is just use your junction restrictions, which you've done on the other ones. Just saying, yep, yeah, move, turn off the junction so you can keep going you can keep going have you done that for here yes you've done all of that so why are they still backing up oh you've got give way there we go look there's the problem aha stop give way so you want the people coming on to give way not the people already on to give way also you've got a lot of people walking and crossing i mean i don't know where they're going to walk to they're not going to walk out there and if they want to get over here, we can add a path that way. Yeah, so let's just let's just change this road. You want this to be three-lane highway. Come on, let me get it. Excellent. And then we just had a couple of paths in just to help people who do want to walk. There we go. Excellent. So they can cut through there. And then if people want to get over here, yeah, I mean, they could walk that way around. But let's just give them a path. Go. Excellent. And that's fine. Yeah, that's good. So things are starting to move. And then coming down here, this is starting to back up a tiny bit. It was, but actually it's going okay. I mean, you do have traffic lights here. But there's not that much traffic coming in. Yeah, that's fine. I would just leave that going. That's no problem. There we go. So that's cleared that one up. That's fantastic. Let us take a look where else we've got. 72%. Fantastic. It's going well. So you've got a little bit of slowing down. And everyone's trying to get into this lane here to go on. I bet you've done some weird lane management here. No, you haven't. I take that back. So over here, you've got lane management. Two straight on, one off. Well, that's fine. Where are these guys coming from? Okay, so they're coming from around there. Uh, you don't need that to connect to there. You've got this connection. You've got this connection over here. So let us just... I'm then going to delete that. And then I'm just going to draw it back in again. Just up to the end. Yeah, so your buildings don't disappear. But you just remove that one connection there, which is nice. And then I'm going to upgrade that so it's the same. There we go. Now they can just go straight through and see where they're going to want to go. And look at that. Already the weird lane switching has disappeared. And that sorted that out. What have you got going on down here? And then I would perhaps lose this junction here as well. It's just too many junctions right close next to each other. And then again here you've got this junction right close to this one. What I would perhaps do is... Is that a one-way road? You've got that going one way... Oh, okay. You've got one way in and then one way out. Right, I see what you're doing. So there we go. Just move that junction just a little bit down there. And then what I would also do, if you're going to treat this as a roundabout, I would make this one way as well. So let's just upgrade that. There we go. So that just goes around in a nice big circle. And then I would use your... Yeah, you see, you want these to give way. Whoops. Those to give way and these guys to get priority. 
as that is just going to be treated as a big roundabout and then going up there as well this is two way so i would do the same there you give way you carry on i would also turn off junction restrictions there for you junction restrictions they can just go straight through and then let's just take a look at those roads so we know which direction they're going so they're going to come down there go around they can join the highway if anybody here wants to get out they can go out there they can come down here and join there and then they can come onto the highway and just use a little off ramp to go up there turn around and come back but that's cleared that up that's all moving nicely 76 percent, fantastic so let's have a look around any other little hot spots that we could do with fixing so let's have a look this is that roundabout we put in before yeah this little bit's getting quite busy here i don't know what we're gonna do there's a lot of cars coming out that are waiting to go on and they're being held up by all of these coming off the highway let's just take a look at this road and see where most of them are going so most are wanting to go straight on a few are going down here okay i was thinking if most were going down there we'd have a slip road but they actually want to go straight over is there any other way to get over do you know what there's like a little spot here we could just add a road going through there just to give them another way to go to get through maybe there yeah let's do that and hopefully that'll just let that move a bit we'll come back and we'll check on that again a bit later so what have we got going on over here so everyone's coming down they're all getting stuck yeah you've got to stop putting so many road connections together this is just getting out of hand so again you've got your one way coming in so i can see what you've done you've sort of whoa i can't see what you've done there it's working i'm not going to touch it you've got your one way coming down then you sort of thought how can i end it what, what shall i do so here i mean you've got all of this space i seriously would just say let's just remove all of that let's just remove all of that let's just remove all of that and just stick a little roundabout in here you, that's you just seriously that's what you just need to do okay there we go we've got our roundabout in so let's just set up all the giving way that's going out that's coming in and going out there we go so they can move through we don't have any traffic lights no that's fine just before the traffic builds up too much let me just finish this off uh, you can go through, you can go through, you can go through, and you can go through. And that should start moving much, much better. And then we want these guys to actually be able to keep moving off of here and not stop. So let me just see. If they went down there and they wanted to come back, there's plenty of roads connecting. So what I'm going to say is let's use the lane tool here. There we go. Excellent. We want straight on, straight on, and straight on. Just to keep those moving. We're going to move the traffic lights. That's it. So no one's going to turn right. Let's just double check that. I think I might have accidentally removed the lane. Yep, there we go. Um, I want these guys here. I don't want them to cross the traffic. So they can go straight on and right. That's fine. And these ones here can go right and or left yeah that's no problem i might just change that to be let's say a double left and one right and then hopefully that will just keep moving there instead and then if they want to get to other places in the city that's no problem you carry on you carry on you carry on speed it up and that should just all move nicely look at that cleared up fantastic and again you've lost all these too many junctions close together i mean you've got this one here i would in fact I would just remove those traffic lights. You don't need them. It's a little side road that's not too busy at all. Nice. Right, let's take a look. What else we've got in here? 76%. This roundabout is still struggling a bit. I think it's just busy. Actually, if you look at it, it's moving. It's red because it's busy. Look, this is cleared up. But it is moving. So, yep. I'm pleased with that. Do you know what? I'm just going to check for any escape routes. No. For any junctions... Just look at that. There's a stop sign there. There's a stop sign there. Hidden stop signs. We don't need stop signs. We don't need no hidden stop signs. There we go. That's good. And then what I might just do here. Well, I'm going to do the same thing here. I don't want the traffic crossing over. So I'm going to remove the traffic lights. And then I'm going to use the junction tool again. At the lane tool and say, you can go right. So you don't cross over. Um, you're going to cross over there. You do actually need to leave. And then you need to leave. Yeah, just to keep that moving. That's what I want. There we go. Look, it's cleared up already. Good. Okay, another little hot spot you've got up here, which, again, I would just say is caused by the fact that your junctions are too close together. I mean, the traffic's moving. 
But yeah, it's a very busy road. What I would do is, is I would delete that from there and then I would upgrade this road that you've got connecting here, but I would move it further along. So let's just take that. Uh, let's grab this one here. And you've got like, this big space along here. You can easily have another junction in there and not cause any issues. Let's just go out like that. Uh, can I curve it? That's what I want to press. And then have that come along there. And then connect straight into there. Let's just delete. Destroy this structure. Oh, it's a dam. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay, hang on a sec. Uh, let's change that elementary school. Move you onto there. That's fine. I didn't realize that was a dam. Damn. So actually, why don't we just stick with a smaller road? Let's go with this one here. There we go. And then we're just going to use this one. We're going to sort of curve it around. Yep. There we go. So that can join up to the dams. So we've removed a three. I mean, even these two right next to each other is too much. Let's just have a look through here. Yeah, I would just say, just because they're so close, I'm going to remove... you got no traffic lights. No, that's fine. And I would say these guys here just give way and you yeah, give way. And that should be fine just to keep things moving. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. How are we doing? 78%. See, little fixes like that. We can do this. See, this one as well. you got this junction right close to there. They're stopping the slowing down. That's like goes all the way around. I would just, I would just, let's grab your road. That's the one we want. So what we're going to do, we're not going to mess up what you've got in here, but we're just going to move that along to there. So we're going to remove that one from there. We'll fill in your houses that you've got and move your park. So let's fit that there. There we go. And you've got low density housing. So let's just fill that back in. I don't know how much you had there. And just the fact you're just, I mean, like this, you've got two next to each other. But just the fact you're doing that is giving breathing space. And then we're going to say that you have to give way, which removes the traffic lights, let you carry on. You've done it there. Again, those two right next to each other. But yeah, that's going to start clearing up anyway. And that'll be good. Okay, so you mentioned to take a look at your metro. Well, let's check out all your public transportation. No bus lines, uh, no tram lines. You have lots of metro. Uh, no train lines, no ferry lines. So you've really heavily relied on metro. And on the face value, you know, that is not too bad. You've got some lines that have just got hardly anybody. You're getting up into the hundreds. And then, you know, 651, that is good. But let's just have a look at your metro layout. So, interesting. Okay, you've got this sort of running, cutting across here. Now, what we're going to do, just so we can see this a bit better is we're going to change the colour on all of these lines so we can see where they're going. There we go. So we've got all sorts of different colours. We've got lots of platforms that are crossing over here, which is good. But I think we can we can do this better. I think we can do it better, get it running better. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add up how many people are using your metro as of now. Let's pause the game and then we'll compare that to once we've done our changes and, uh, yeah, see how it goes. Also, probably what i mean you're making plenty of money but also worth keeping in mind when you do this is how much is your metro going to cost you so your income your outcome your profit so i would just round that up 2k profits there we go and i'm going to add up all the people using it right as of then it was 3166 people making 2k profit so let me set this up you know, we'll just do some changes here. And let me set this up how I think uh, it could maybe work a little bit better. So I'm going to start off by deleting all of your metro lines. There we go. They are all gone. And I'm just going to remove some of your cross-platform stations that you've got here. So ones like this that sort of cut across. We are going to put some more of those in. So don't worry about that. Uh, what's going on here? Yeah, there's your... Yeah, so I'm going to remove all of those. So let me just grab these. Okay, so we can see what your setup looks like. You've got it going around in a nice grid there, which is good. Uh, what I am going to do is smooth out your circle a little bit. So you've got some areas that are getting no metro at all. You've got a big sort of chunk missing from here. 
Um, I'm just going to change that up slightly. So this is the shape as it looks like before any changes. Okay, and this is what it looks like with a few changes. I mean, you don't need to have a perfect circle or anything, but I've removed some of the stations that were just too close to each other, spread out, maybe added another one here and there, but we've got a circle, you know, in inverted commas, going around, which is going to be our outside loop. And then we want to service some of these people that are on the outside and the inside of the loop and also have a transfer station in the middle. We've got a couple that are set up in here. So let me just set up some more lines to help feed all of those. There we go. And we are going to have a second loop in the middle. Now, I normally talk about loops. I do them differently. When people have cities, say they have a city set up here and another one this side of the highway or another one there, I would put a loop in each one and then have transfer, st transfer stations. But I want you to keep the uh, existing stations you had on the outside. So most of these are quite near to places like that. They will walk that far to get to the metro. Also, you could use buses as well as if you want. And then I'm going to do some transfer stations. Now, I do get people say to me, why don't you put your lines? So you have one line on one side and one line on the other side instead of having a transfer station like this. Can I snap to a row? There we go right next to another station well because i am going to set up loops i'm going to have a line going like this going clockwise round the outside of this loop there we go like that and then i am going to have an anti-clockwise or a counterclockwise line going the other way around so we're actually using both sides of this tunnel and then I'm going to do the same on the inner loop as well. We're going to have a clockwise and a counterclockwise loop. There we go. Excellent. Now, I'm just thinking about adding transfer stations in. I mean, we could add one over here. Or to be honest, I mean, as long as they can walk from here to here, that is just not too far to go. So let me just have a look. They could come down there. They could walk here. They could walk around there. Yeah, they want to get to there. So, I mean, we could just add in, you know, I'm just thinking outside the box. I'm just thinking of doing something a bit different. We could add a little path in over here. Let's turn off the snapping. So, I mean, if we just went like that, people can now walk across there. We could also add a bus that just goes from one to the other and join that road up. Uh, would there be a good place to do a connection? I mean, that would just be a perfect place just to do a road connection. So why not? Let's just do that. Let's just use this mod here. Let's not delete that. <laughs> there we go. Let's use that road there. And we can just connect that one up. There we go. Excellent. We'll have that one going through there. And then we could just have a little simple bus route going from one side to the other. So let's just do that. I don't think you have any bus infrastructure at all in your city. No, you do not. So why not let me just add that in for you? You've got plenty of money. So this is going to be a short shuttle bus route. I would say, I mean, this road isn't too busy out here. I would say we could put that on here. And which way round is the road going? Oh, the road's going the other way. That's annoying. Let's put it this way then. And we're going to have that come down there, cut through there. And can it easily get to... Oh, we've got like a weird one-way road. Okay, I want easy access to that. And people have been able to get through. So I'll tell you what we're going to do is we're going to add just a little tiny road onto here. Coming off of that. Yep. And then we're going to add a path so people can walk through from one side to the other. There we go. And that's where we're going to have our bus line finish. There we go. A short shuttle bus from one to the other. You might find that actually people don't use it. Because it's not that far to walk if they want to get from one side to the other. But we'll put that in. Uh, we'll do a similar thing over here. So how easy is it to get from there to there? You're taking the longest route around the city because you've got all these one-way roads that go everywhere. Let's just take a closer look at this. There we go. An easy fix. Let's just pop that on there. Take that back there. I just added a little crossroad through there. A road so they can get through. Yep, that's fine. I mean, you could even add a few other stops on here. Let's add a stop there. That one. Yeah, let's add one that side. We can have a stop along here and even along here as well. There we go. So they can get around there. And I'm just wondering whether this one could do with any stops on it. Let's have a stop in the middle. It's not too busy, that road. And we've got to stop that end. Yeah. 
That'll be helpful. Excellent. And then I think I'm going to do one this side. From there to there. How much of a route is that going to take me? I don't want to start changing your one-way road system and things. That's going to go all the way up to the highway and back round again. Do you know what? I'm going to do that one anyway. And then we're just going to add a few stops. So these people up here can get a stop. Uh, these people down here can get a stop over this side. Coming back down here again to join up. We'll give them a stop as well. There we go. So that might encourage more people to use that. And then finally, we're going to add one over here. So we've got that connecting. Just a little one between these. Again, this is so close. How far around is that going? Is that going to go weird highway route somewhere? Okay, I'm just going to add another little crossroad there, which is fine. I know this is our little roundabout thing we set up. But I don't think that's going to cause any major issues in the middle there. So we're going to do that. And we want to go from here to there. Oh, hang on a sec. We've got one to get rid of. There we go. We're going to go from there to there and back again. Yep, that's fine. And then if you want to add a little stop over here to help those, we could add one down there. Yeah. That'll be fine. Let us see how that goes. So I've left this game running while I've had my lunch. I am actually going to buy this square here for you because this traffic backing up here is causing a few issues. So as we don't have network extensions too, uh, we can't upgrade this to a four lane highway and have one lane for going off and two lane, uh, three lanes for going on. So what I'm going to do is downgrade this road here to two lane for going through there so it's three lane one goes off it's two lane one joins back on and it's three lane again and then what you're going to find if you have a look down here you've only got one lane for going off and two for going on so once this has cleared a bit you'll find there we go they're all doing a little bit of hawky balky lane switching but you'll find after a while they'll get into the lane that they want so i'm going to say no lane switch in there no lane switch in there no lane switch in there do it over here somewhere and then we want to speed it up coming off of here as well. Whoops, game jumped. Um, so you do actually have a lane in there. I bet you've got a stop sign in there. Ah, there we go. Oh, look, it's going to move so quickly. I just want to check here. So we're saying that they can't switch to... Yes, we want to change that one there. Let's just change this. In fact, one, two... Yeah, we'll just change that bit there as well. If I can grab that row, just so we don't have too many lanes. One, two, three into three. Yep, that makes more sense. And we'll just say, you can go there. You can go... Th Try that again. You can go there. And then we've said no switching. I don't know whether I set that or you set that. But that's stopping them going where perhaps they might need to go. So we're going to turn that off there and turn that one off there. So they can switch if they like. And look at that already all cleared up excellent okay so i'm just taking a quick look around at some of your stations here and because of the way you've got your road set up with great big long sections like this and then another big long section like that with no crossroads people can't easily get from this side to over here to use this uh, metro station so what i'm going to do is just add a little path it means destroying a couple of buildings but now people can get from over here there we go. To come over here and use this metro station. So I'm going to go around and check all the metro stations on both of these loops to make sure that if people want to walk from one side to the other, that they can easily get to them. There we go. So a good example here. We've got the metro here. We can easily run a little connection from there to there. Um, I've also put in a path alongside here, which you can see people already using. And then I've run a path along there as well. That will just help people just to generally get around the city better. That's definitely going to just improve your traffic. And then I'm just following along the lane to see anywhere else. I mean, we could add a path in from this side to get over to there as well, because there's a another one here. So if we go like that and then go down to here like that, that's going to connect that up. Yeah, lots of places I think you can add paths in, which I think is really going to improve your city anyway. 
as well as getting people to the metro. So yeah, that's the inner loop and the out outer loop taken care of, I think. Okay, so what are we up to now at the end? 81% traffic, which is fantastic. I just had to buy this square over here because there was a hidden stop sign under here, which I couldn't remove. So I've had to just do that so that runs nicely. I've also just changed this road layout here. Uh, this road went up and joined here. So we had two junctions close together. I've just connected it across, so that's fine. So yeah, that's not too bad. 80, 79, 80, 81%. I'm happy with that. Let's have a look at what's going on with your buses. Lots of people using your buses. I'm not going to add all those up. Let's have a look what's happening with your metro. Whoa, that is going up nicely. Let me just do some quick mathematics. Right, some quick mathematics. 2,994 people using the trains. Although this one here is, is going up. So that could increase. We've actually also got... 881 using the buses and if you add the two together that's 3875 so that's more people using your public transportation than there was at the beginning and with 81 percent traffic that is pretty darn good what i would do for expanding in the future i mean you've got this nice piece of land over here is get some trains going uh, make use of the boats and the ferries and things like that. Try not to cram any more into here because this is working really well. So what do you think to the changes that we've made? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to send me your city, check out my pinned post. And look at the next video on the screen as well. Thank you very much everybody for joining me. And I will see you very soon for our next Fix It episode. Take care. Bye bye.